What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to flash Rixrom build 8. So this is for the Ryzen No 3, of course. So what you're going to do is power your phone on. Hit the recovery there to boot into the safe trap. And then you're going to do wipe, additional wipe. You're going to wipe your data, data, cache, and system. Just like that. Swipe the wipe. <clears throat> and then let it do its thing. Hit back. install and you're gonna see Rick's ROM build it right there flash that puppy I will be doing another video in about a couple days talking about how it is you know the mods I have on the phone and things like that so expect another video within a couple days And I'll let you guys know about that. And as you guys know, if you have any questions, just drop a comment. I put in the description the XDA thread uh, for the ROM. And you guys can flash it if you want. And this is a, this is on 4.4.2, of course. So you have to be on a 4.4.2 base ROM in order to for this to work. And also you're going to have to have, the uh, obviously, the safe trap. Uh, 4 .4 .2. It won't work if you're on 4.3. Yeah. So I'm going to let that sit in flash like that. Take about a couple minutes sometimes, about a minute or two. It also depends on what kind of SD card you have, you know, I have a little bit of an older 16 gig SD card in there, so some of the SD cards are a little quicker, it just depends. So here we go. We're going to reboot. And we're going to see the first the boot up screen. Now the first time the ROM boots up, it'll probably take a you know a few seconds longer. That's normal. So and that is the boot up screen right there. Pretty cool, you know, Sam some of the little fireworks going across. That's definitely cool. Like I said, the first time it boots up, it always takes longer than usual, so that's just how it is when you flash, uh, you know, a new ROM, so, yep. It should be booting up here in a minute now.
There we go. I'm just gonna go through the setup boards just so you guys don't see my number and shit. <laughs> We're gonna leave the setup boards in here. Alright, so that's basically uh, first screen. You know, basically stock right now. Nothing really uh, that I've done yet. So, as you guys see, Galaxy S5 toggles at the top. So that's definitely cool. Like I said, I'm going to get into this video, um, an updated video, letting you guys know how it is. So, until then, I'm out, guys. Peace.